Amazon Live. Now, you may say, Nolan, that's no secret. Well, maybe not, but it's a tool that a lot of sellers don't know about. So if you want to ensure the launch of your Amazon product is successful, you need to watch this video. I'll give you all the details as to why Amazon Live should be a part of your launch strategy. So let's get into it. With PPC costs increasing and the effectiveness of PPC decreasing, sellers have to get a lot more creative with their marketing strategy nowadays. No longer can you just rely on PPC to be the way that people find your products. So that's where Amazon Live comes in. If you're old enough to remember cable TV, it's kind of like the shopping channel right on Amazon. If you're not old enough to remember that, let me put it this way. It's a live streaming service where influencers host live streams that allows your product to get showcased. They'll do unboxings, highlight features, show how the product works, etc. So now let's hop onto Amazon and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so now that we're on Amazon.com, we're gonna come over to the All column over here. Click on that. We'll go down to Program and Features. Sometimes it'll show up right here, but if not, just press See All. We'll scroll down to Amazon Live right here and you have the choice of viewing live programs or recently live. So let's just go to a live program real quick. So this is the Amazon Live Hub where you can see the featured content creators. These are up and coming creators that you know are gaining a following right now. As well, here's one of the main videos that is live and that people are watching. Here you can see how many people are watching. So right now it's like 208. It is lagging a little bit. So on the right here, you'll see that this is the chat where you'll see when people follow the influencer, also any questions people have, which is really cool. This all happens in live time. So as a brand, when your product is being featured um, by an influencer on a video, um, you'll be able to answer questions live, which is really cool. You can start to foster a relationship with potential customers. It can entice them to buy as well. Right below the video, you're going to be able to see which products the influencer is reviewing or is going to be reviewing. It's kind of on this little sliding carousel here, which is really cool. So, no longer are the days where you have to call into the shopping channel and order a product over the phone like that. This is massive when it comes to the customer funnel when you think about it. It's not even like Instagram or YouTube where you have to encourage people to follow a link. Everything is right here, just a click away. So also, if they're on Amazon Live, they are on here to be convinced to buy. They have buyer's intent as long as they're on Amazon Live. Instagram, YouTube, kind of casual, more for scrolling, and you really have to convince somebody to click on the links to go to your product listing. Whereas right here, they're ready to buy, and now your product is just a click away. So other platforms are effective, but it's just so easy, and you're able to convert customers a lot easier because of this. One of the biggest features of having your product featured on Amazon Live is that if we go to say this product, let's click on the listing, we'll scroll down. Now they already have a video um, for their product, which is great. You should always have a video on your listing, but the live stream related to this product is actually gonna be featured on the product listing, which is amazing because you have another chance to inform the customer of how your product works, all the attributes that it has, and this is really just gonna help to increase the conversion rate of your listing. So let's just recap as to why you should be using Amazon Live. The first one is that it drives product sales. It does this by putting your product as the center of attention when an influencer is reviewing it. Your product will show up right below the video on that carousel that we saw in the example. People are gonna be able to click on your listing right away and your chances of converting somebody are greatly increased. The second reason to use it is that it informs the customer better. Videos are extremely important in e-commerce. Traditionally, you were able to go into a brick and mortar store, 
test and feel the product that you were intending to buy and that would help you to make your purchase decision. So by using video and informing the customer, we're kind of substituting the fact that people can't feel or touch it and people can watch somebody else do that and that can help them to make their purchase decision. So the third thing and probably my favorite aspect to Amazon Live is that it goes on your product listing. I'm kind of repeating myself here, but again, this is huge if you don't already have a video on your product listing. It's just another chance to inform the customer to help them in their purchase decision. The next point I'll bring up is product discovery. People who may otherwise not have searched the search terms you're ranking on may now find your product. And if the product is shown by an influencer that they trust, they are much more likely to buy the product. So the final point I'll bring up is having the social proof that comes with this. When you don't have reviews and you're just launching your product, you don't have any social proof to show people that they should trust your brand and your product. But we can bypass this with using an influencer. What I mean by that is that if somebody trusts an influencer and they kind of pose your product in a positive light, then people can trust this and use this as social proof instead of using reviews. So basically you're getting people to trust your brand through using an influencer. So you get the main points now as to why this is so effective, but now how do you get in contact with the influencers? Now the first way is the old fashioned way. You find the influencers yourself, you get in contact with them, and then you kind of create a contract around how much you're gonna pay them and how they're gonna show off your product. So the second option is to use Rebate. Now Rebate is not sponsoring this video, just FYI, but it is a really effective tool. Now I'm not even gonna go on the site, but I will just give you a quick overview of what you can do with it. Rebate basically connects sellers and influencers across multiple platforms. So there's influencers from Amazon Live, YouTube, Instagram, and so on. The reason I think this site is so great is because negotiations and payments are all done on this website. This is amazing because dealing on an influencer to influencer basis can get pretty messy and can be pretty hard to keep track of. With Rebate, you kind of bypass all the annoying issues of working with influencers like contract terms, how much you should pay them, you know, ensuring that they're holding up their end of the deal and actually doing what you paid them to do. And yeah, it's all centralized, which is amazing. Bottom line is it takes a lot of the guesswork out of dealing with influencers and it's especially helpful if you've never dealt with influencers because it can kind of be a bit of a complicated game. Now, not every influencer is gonna be on rebate, so you might just have to do it the traditional way, but they do have a good selection and it can be a good starting point, especially if you've never dealt with any influencers before, this can be a great way to start. All right, conclusion time. So those are the basics of Amazon Live. Now, what I didn't mention is that Amazon Live can be streamed by you, the seller, if you are brand registered and selling on Amazon US. But the reason I didn't mention it is because I don't really recommend doing it. Influencers already have a setup and they have a following that trusts them. If you're doing an Amazon Live yourself, that's fine, but unless you have the production value that an influencer has, doing it yourself might hurt more than the benefits it supplies. What I'm saying is, unless the video you're providing is up to par with an influencer's, it's ultimately just gonna be easier and more cost-effective to put, pay the influencer rather than try and set up a whole production done by yourself. I hope this helps you with your Amazon product launch strategy. It's definitely worth utilizing even if you're not launching your product and your product's been out for a while and you just wanna see a boost in sales. If this video helped you out at all, please consider liking and subscribing as it helps out the channel. We are putting out new Amazon videos every week, so subscribing ensures that you are in the know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.